If you're watching this video, then I'm going to assume that you already know how to translate binary into decimal or denary, okay? So if you don't know how to do that, then go and have a look at that video and then come back here because otherwise it's not going to make any sense to you, okay? If you do already know that, then we're going to have a look at a really, really simple way of adding together two binary numbers. So let's say that we've got the number 10111 and we want to add 0111. The way that we can do that if we don't know the FAST system is we just know that is a 1, that is a 2, that is a 4, and that is an 8. Okay, so we know that this is 8 plus 2 plus 1, so we know that's 11, and we know that this is 7. Okay, so therefore we know that if we add these together, the number is 18, and then we can convert that back into um, binary by making 16, we don't need the 8, we don't need the 4, we need the 2, and we don't need the 1, okay? However, when we've got bigger numbers, when we've got longer numbers, that takes a long time. And if you don't need the answer to that in decimal, okay, you just need the binary number. For example, in an exam, if you're asked to convert two um, binary numbers, or oh, sorry, to add two binary numbers and they're quite long and you don't need to know the decimal equivalent, then it's much quicker to use the method I'm going to show you now because this one can take a long time. Okay, so the method that we're going to have a look at relies on the same principle as adding decimal numbers, the system that you learned when you were in probably in junior school. So let's say that in junior school we would take the number 27 and um, 19 okay we'd put them on top of each other we'd draw like this and we'd add together the 9 and the 7 we'd know that that made 16 however we don't have a single digit 16 so every time we went over 9 we'd put our second number down there and our first one up there okay so we'd carry now what we do is we'd add together our 2 our 1 and our 1 and we get 4 and therefore the answer will be 46 <coughs> To understand the principle of how this works, you just need to know that the reason that we carried that over there is because we had two digits. After we get past 9 to 10, 11, 12 and so on, we only put the um, lowest weighted digit down there, okay? So we put the digit on the right down there and the digit on the left up there. It works exactly the same using binary, but remember in binary we've got a 0 and a 1 and after that we don't have anything. We don't have a 2. So whereas in the other adding system that you used to use in junior school and you might still use now to add together decimal numbers, if you got to 8 and 9, yeah, any time after there you would carry. With here, any time after here we carry because we don't have a 2. We don't have that number, we only have a 0 and a 1. So instead of waiting until we get to this point to carry, we're going to start carrying here. Let me just show you how it works. That's a little bit of background information about how it works. However, if you didn't even know that and you just knew the rules of how to add it together, you'd still be able to get the right answer. There are a few rules that we're going to remember up here, okay? We're going to remember that when we're adding these two things together, 0 plus 0 equals 0. No surprise there. Here, we're going to remember that 0 plus 1 is 1. Now you might be thinking, how stupid does he think I am? But it gets a little bit different here. We've got 1 plus 1, okay? And we know that in decimal, 1 plus 1 is 2. However, we also know that in binary, we don't have a 2. So this is where we need to start carrying. So if we get a 1 and a 1, we're going to put a 0, and we're going to carry a 1. Okay, I'm just putting the C to represent carry. I'm not using any sort of official notation. Um, and our fourth rule is if we get a 1 a 1 and a 1 yeah so if we get three ones we're gonna put a 1 and we're gonna carry a 1 we're only looking at adding together two numbers here but adding together any more numbers is the same principle so let's have a look at an example let's say we've got uh, 1 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 1 so we're going to have a look at adding these together using the rules that I wrote here. So 1 and 1. So if we look on the left here, we can see that 1 and 1 is a 0 and carry the 1. So I'm going to put a 0 and carry the 1. 
Now we've got three ones, so we go to the bottom rule here. We've got one, 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 so that's a one, carry the one. When you're adding two numbers together, there isn't a possibility that you're gonna have four ones, so these are all the rules we need to remember. So we've put a one, and we're gonna carry a one. Here, we've got two ones again, so we've got zero, and carry the one. And here, we've got two ones again, so we're gonna put zero, and we've got nowhere to carry it to, so we can just stick it there. Exactly the same principle as when we're adding together decimal. Let's just make sure that this worked. So here, let me just, uh, oops, let me just undo that. Let me just erase these little carry ones so it's a little bit easier to see. So this one was a, two, a one, this one was a two, this is a four, this is an eight, and down here we've got a 16, okay? So here we've got eight plus two plus one, which is 11. And here we've got four plus two plus one, which is seven, okay? So, adding those together, we should get the answer 18. Let's see if we did 16 plus two, yep, we got 18, the same as I showed you before, but much easier. Let's take one more example of a larger number so we can see that it still works no matter how big the number is. Okay, so let's say that we've got uh, one, zero one 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 and one 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 zero one remember that if you've got one number longer than the other we it hangs over this side it doesn't hang over this side it's exactly the same as if you were adding 27 to 164 you wouldn't do it like that because that isn't the same magnitude as that that's a hundred and that's a ten okay so it's exactly the same with binary let's use our little rules on the left hand side here and see what answer we get and then we'll convert it and check it so one and one we know is zero carry the one one and one so i'm just looking at these is zero carry the one 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 is one carry the one one and one is zero carry the one 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 is one carry the one and one and one is zero carry the one Okay, so here I've got, I'm just going to delete these top ones again, these little carry ones, so we can figure it out and see whether I got it right. So here we've got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Okay, we don't have one here. Okay, however, if you want to make it easy, we can just put a zero there so they all match up. Um, and here I'm going to put 64. Okay, so. I've got, on this side here, I've got 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 23. And here I've got 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1, so 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 4, oh sorry, plus 8 is 56. 61 okay 61 and 23 plus 61 is 6 plus 2 is 8 and so that's 4 so that's 84 let's have a look down here we've got 64 plus 16 which is 70 okay which is sorry which is 80 64 plus 16 which is 80 and a 4 so we've got 84 okay so it works and that is all you need to know.